Hello, hello, hello. This is your man, Nicholas Shepard from Shepard Family Enterprise, business administration and information systems consultant. And right now, we're going into the state of awareness, intellectual thinking. And I'm sitting here and I am, you know, I'm going over a lot of stuff, you know, and I have a lot of things. And today is the the fifth of May, okay, two thousand twenty three. Okay, so forgive me if I start sounding like a babbling idiot. So that's what I'm saying because you know I'm running all over the place. Okay. Um, number one is the fact that my mother just passed, and uh, you know I have a lot of questions based on, you know, the activity was going on before her death. Um, and the responsibility of people um, before her death, you know what I'm saying? All right, but, you know, I'm not gonna get too deep in depth in that because I'm not gonna, you know, put all my business out there. But what I am gonna do is now, like I said, today is May 5th, 2023, okay? And it's a state of awareness intellectual thinking right? so um and also you can actually like what i okay let me tell you this number one i want you to donate to my class right you go out to our my website and you can go to my other sites okay and you can basically like, okay, donate, okay, donate whatever you can afford, anything like that, that'll help us get our messages out, not only will it help us get our messages out, but it would actually help us as far as our business efforts and stuff like that. Um, the whole premise of the, what I'm talking about and what I'm doing is to make you aware of things. And People, and I, I understand, people have different perceptions of a lot of different things because, you know, people were raised that way, okay? It depends on where you were raised. See, some people say that, you know what? Well, you know, that's not right. This not that, you know, you know, people, it's bullshit, right? You know what I'm saying? It's all about where you were raised and the influences you had around you. You got that? Okay. The second thing is that people try to say, pray to God, right? Let me tell you something. There's only one God. One God. I don't care. You, whatever you, when you pray, everything goes to God. And he hears everybody's prayers. Everybody's prayers. It don't matter who you pray. He hears everyone's prayers. Okay. So you say, well, this and that, you know. You know what I'm saying? You do not, you not, you, see, people don't understand, they don't even equate to the intelligence of God. All right? You understand? So, when you say, when you try to say, you know, you, as far as relation to God, you know, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. You, know, you can say, you can talk all you want to me, but as far as God concerned, you're an idiot. Okay, you don't know what you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? God's intelligence is so way up there to the fact that he got to talk to us as if you're talking to a newborn baby. You understand? So as we grow, we only get an inkling. I'm talking like, you know, the information that we get is so small. Okay, you understand? It's like, it's amazing <laughs> to him. It's amazing the patience God has to break things down to us to explain things, okay? And people's, you know, and see what trips me out when people are thinking like, well, you know, this is what God means. You don't know what God means. You do not. Okay, you have no clue what God means. Okay, because my one, God does not speak English. 
Okay, he don't speak English, so they say, "Well, God uses this person." Yes, but they got them. God, you know, them persons don't speak the God English, the God language. You know, they they don't. So you know, God is yeah. Okay, if God created the universe. He his perception is stuff beyond our, you know, ideal. Okay, or beyond understanding. So he got to get down on our level. That's like trying to get an ant to speak English. Okay, don't get it twisted. Okay, don't get it twisted. Okay, so this is the whole thing. I'm sitting here. And I'm listening to a lot of different things. Pertaining to a lot of different and uh, one thing I'm going to do, I'm going to give my ups, okay, to, um, you know, all the fellas in Detroit, okay, Dexter, Linwood, Illinois, Seven Mile, Eight Mile, you know, Inkster, Grand Rapids, you know, Sterling Heights, Southfield, you know what I'm saying, wherever you may be that you represent, okay, I want to get a lot of that. Okay, I'm I'm you know I'm one of the Detroit boys. Okay, I was uh, I was raised on Dexter, on Calvary McQuay. Okay, where everything started. Now you got a lot of guys thinking a lot of different things, but you know, hey, you know what I'm saying, you know, we created a lot of things. We was the backbone. You know what's going on. Now there's a lot of different things going on in other places, but at my level, I was raised in the '70s, and the new era come from that whole village. Okay, so um, I'm sitting up here and I'm dwelling on some things. Okay, and what I'm dwelling on is based on my whole perception of what a man is. Okay, okay now today is. You know, it's May, right? It's the first week of May. And um I was out in my yard, you know, my you know, my my back area and I was like, you know, I'm I'm, I'm bleaching out my deck, right? You know what I'm saying? Trying to get it ready for you know, Memorial's Day and whatever. I already cleaned out my flower bed, everything like that, my barbecue grill's ready, you know, my front, you know, in front of my um, you know, it's straight, you know what I'm saying, everything tight. And um and I was doing this because you know you know, I'm I, you know, I'm a man, okay. There's no doubt about that, man. I'm a man, okay. I don't know what, what experience I would see. People may see say the fact that well, you know, life experiences like you know what I'm saying we were supposed to but you know what I was supposed to a lot of stuff but I grew up out by a lot of different things because once I realized the path that I was going you know what I'm saying and it's not about religious it's about identity and power okay once I understand once I understood the whole reality of what power was and who I was and the influences they are based on who I am. I just step back and look at things differently, right? And I had to look at things like, okay, okay, I'm on Earth. Then you have the universe. And for the point when God created the universe and at the time the earth was created you about billions of years okay so when god sent out a message it probably took millions of years for billions of years for it to get to us okay now i was talking to this person okay and she probably knows she's like trying to trip on myself 
But I was talking to this person, and I had to explain to you. She's not the only one. Okay. Now, you got to understand. Okay, I'm going to let you all know. Okay. I was born a Christian. All right? Not knowing what Christianity was. Not knowing who God was, anything. All right? But one thing I knew was fear. Okay? I knew fear because my dad, James Nichols Shepherd. Dad Sherman Shepherd, he instilled fear in his children because respect was a big thing. All right. So here I am, a young man, and I'm growing up, right, in an environment where I had no clue that it was racism. Man. I, was, I, was, I had no clue, man. Okay, you know, and the reason why I had no clue because my mother's father was white, right? He was German, Jew, Scottish, right? Which I found out, right? You know what I'm saying? And, um, I want you to tell you something, right? Everyone is going to travel the road to death. You understand? There's no way around it, okay? And your bones, okay, will fertilize the plants that grows after after you die, okay? Your body will become fertilizer, okay? Your body will fertilize the plants, okay? You know, whatever it is. Now, whatever you don't know, you will know. But you ain't going to be able to tell nobody once you die. Okay, it's, you're not going to say tell them like shit. Okay, let's say. Okay, the whole thing was like Islam, Christianity, and so you know saying? There's always been a beef between Christianity and Islam, right? You know what I'm saying today. Okay, and the problem that I have is not with Christianity; it's the cultures, and the cultures dictate who you are, right? Where you come from. And people try to push you to think that if you don't believe in this, you don't believe in that, then you're not going to have it. That's bullshit, man. That's bullshit, man. That's bullshit. You understand? Because the fact that people are living and dying every day. You know, man, what you believe in, what your faith is, whatever they're saying, you're going to die, man. And people, some people die, people die young, some people die young. People go to war, they get killed, people get raped, you know what I'm saying? People get fucking shot and killed. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter who you pray to, your destiny is your destiny. So I used to tell people, I'm on a journey. And I pray to Allah. I'm a Muslim. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Well, I'm training Muslims. And I believe that whatever Allah, the journey Allah put me on, that's my journey. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Allah is God. Okay, like I said, like I told you, it's only one God. And as I pray, I pray for my family, man. Okay, you know what I'm saying? And as I, you know, and the reason why I do this is because when I start reading about historically, okay, about things, you know, I'm like, you know, okay, at the back and say, okay, where do I belong to? Right? That's why I went to Islam. Because I realized that there was so much BS, bullshit going on, right? From the time that Constantine did what he's did, or Casanova, whatever you know what I'm saying, he what he did, to the time where, you know, Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, brought back the message. Okay. People keep talking about Jesus. There's no doubt. Okay, I'm getting that. It's no doubt that Jesus existed. <laughs> There's no doubt that Jesus existed. Okay, in, in, in the Quran, they talk about Jesus. And they've been talking about Jesus for thousands of years. Okay, up to from the time he was born till you know, after that. Now, the controversy that Christians have with Islam is an ideal, right? You know what I'm saying? That 
the person that's questioning this idea have no proof. You understand that? They come up with somebody said, man. You know, and, and that's bullshit, man. That's like I say, well, I heard this such, you know, this person, you know, walks across the river and this person is that and this person that, you know, and and I wrote a book and the people that's and due to the fact that people that that's listening to me are so ignorant, they believe this shit, man. You understand? And they tell everybody, but and you can believe in anything you want, man. You know what I'm saying? You can believe anything you want, man. You know, and it's up to you what you want to believe in. But the whole idea of what's going on during the time of Jesus Christ, Yahshua, Esau, Yahshua, and Yusuf, you know what I'm saying? Whatever he did and whatever he was going through during his time, you don't understand it. Okay. You don't have a clue, man. Okay? You don't have a clue, man. Because if I was a Messiah, and let's say I was able to perform miracles, okay, or oh God was revealing stuff to me, there's no way, okay, if God gave me pure knowledge, pure information, there's no way I'd be able to explain it to you. Because certain things God would tell me, don't tell you. Even if I tell God, if I'm telling you, I'm confused, God said, that's not my problem. Okay, now I'm ready for it. Okay, you know what I'm saying? But people think that if you don't uh, if you don't know the Bible as far as you understand this that you know what I'm saying this world been around for thousands of years. So they're trying to say that Abraham, Isaac, all them people, man. Because they don't believe in Jesus Christ, man. They went, they went to hell, man. And I look at them, I'm like, man, you fucking crazy as fuck. Okay, now, they was born. They Jesus died. They was, Jesus was born after they died. Right, so they went to hell. So, I'm saying is that if they were trying to convey a message, okay, and you understand the war is real as far as between God and the devil. The war is real. So people have always questioned God. Man. They always question his ability, this and that, you know what I'm saying? Right with the angels he sent down, the message he sent down, they always... so the reason why he sent down Jesus is because people didn't believe God was real. Okay. He sent down there, okay, God is real. Okay. I'm saying the message is real. All right. You don't have to send anyone else. Okay, you know what I'm saying? So, thousand years go past. People distort what Jesus was saying for control and power and things like that. Okay, so he sent Muhammad. He, the message was given to Muhammad. Muhammad. Which is, you know, to get things straight because people's, man, people's taking the word of Jesus Christ, man, and making what they want, you know what I'm saying? Because he to come back and tell them shit. You know, I know the, the, the you know, you know, uh, I'm not gonna say, but you know, but they, you know, I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna say. Okay. Uh, I don't want to say it was Jesus. I don't want to say Muhammad. I don't want to say it was Abraham. But a spiritual being came to me with two angels. I'm going to say the two angels because that's all I was taught. They didn't say that to me. And it, and I was in the light because I looked at myself and I was radiant. Okay. And when I, it went like I was glowing. It was like, just like I'm looking at myself in the sun. You turn the light. I saw myself the same way. I looked up and I seen, you know what I'm saying? A person with behind two, two people, two grown men, it's big people. Right? Now, you know, people say that was Jesus, people say this and that, you know what I'm saying? I don't know who it was, man. But the point is, I know that God is real. Okay. Because 
you know, situation, I had a lot of visions, and I had a lot of situations where I was, you know, in kind of, I seen a lot of different things, and you know, just throughout my lifetime. And I know God was real. Okay. So, if I'm praying, okay, based on, you know what I'm saying, I don't care what you teach me, okay, I can just give you this, you know what I'm saying, but I know what I've seen. Okay, I know the spiritual being that I say. And I'm praying to this person. Okay. Based on the culture that I was raised up in. And I'm not wrong, man. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because Muhammad brought a message, man. And the only person I can see is the chosen one. And he never told me I was Jesus Christ. I'm this. I'm saying. He never said that, man. But that being that came in front of me was the spirit, man. You know what I'm saying? People don't believe me. Okay. People don't believe me, man. Okay, they don't believe me. You know what I'm saying? And I've seen hell, just like I'm looking at you right now. And I've seen you know what I'm saying? This okay. Number one, the hell that people say it is. I'm saying you know, it's the one I seen was totally different. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You know what I'm saying? And this it's not it's traumatic, but you know it's not what you think. You know what I'm saying? It's not what you think it is. You know what I'm saying? But you know it's not what you think it is. I never seen heaven. I seen the rapture. There are people who seen heaven. Okay, went up to the, you know, whatever, you know, seen heaven, or, or part of heaven. But they had no understanding of it, because there was no one other greeter, okay? Don't get it twisted, okay? You know what I'm saying? Because you can pray all you want, but the person that teach you what you seen has to be there to elevate you. And if you pray, if you believe in something and God move you up in the spirit to, to your know, position of the person that you think you think you know, and no one's there, you just start reevaluating so that I'm saying, you know, exactly who you was talking to, who you believe in. Because when I was praying, I seen, okay, you know what I'm saying, who I was praying to. All right. And you know, as far as God concerns, they are that, you know what I'm saying, there's a God. Right. So. Um, we need to get our stuff together, man. Okay, we do. We need to get our stuff together. And it's not going to be easy because we really think that we have something to sacrifice. And we don't. Okay. So this is the thing, right? Yeah, okay, I'm talking to you right now. Okay. And you know, I really believe what you're saying. But yet I'm trying to give you some some of the information based on what's been revealed to me. And you don't believe nothing I'm saying. Okay, you know, but you don't know shit because nothing revealed I shit revealed to me. Ain't you know what I'm saying? So who's the idiot? Okay. Who's the idiot? The person that God chose to view this stuff. Now I'm quite sure during the time of Jesus Christ is people that was following him, he told them something like they didn't believe him. Okay. But, you know, it's cool, though. All right. All right. It's your man, Nicholas Shepard from Shepard Enterprise, Business Administration, Information Systems, and so I'm here to let you know what you don't know.